good morning friends and welcome back to another session uh, i have earlier uploaded a video on protein uh, binding of drugs uh, but it was on digital pad uh, uh, and i thought it would be better if i put it into powerpoint because then things become slightly more clearer as you can understand what's written on to uh, the powerpoint as compared to what happens with digital pad where i have to write the things <laughs> okay anyway so this is uh, the first of the series uh, first of my sessions in the three minute series a uh, difficult task for me again to explain you all the things of plasma protein binding in just three minutes i hope you will enjoy uh, so stay tuned and take a deep breath before i start so my time starts now so uh, we'll be talking of plasma protein binding today as you know a fraction of administered drug is bound to proteins inside the body uh, they require some carrier uh, to transport them from one side to other side. So it, it is, these are these proteins which help them in all these things. So uh, basically plasma protein binding is affected by physical and chemical properties of a drug molecule. So even isoforms of drugs or the um, various drugs in a single group may have different uh, plasma protein capacities. It all comes down to the molecular structure of the drug and how it affects uh, the plasma protein binding. Uh, now acidic drugs usually bind to albumin while as basic drugs bind to alpha 1 acid glycoprotein. Now remember a single protein can get attached to many drugs at the same time. So this is one important thing that you need to know because it may give rise to a displacement reaction which we will be talking uh, later on. Uh, now always in the body brown drugs is in equilibrium with the free drug and therefore you know bound drug slowly dissociates from the protein. So that makes it um, uh, agent or a drug which can remain inside the body for a very long time. So more the protein binding, more is the time the drug remains inside the body. Once freed from the proteins, the drug will immediately starts on its action. Okay. Uh, also, it's also impo important for you to remember that uh, more the protein binding, more is the vascular distribution of drug. It will remain inside the intravascular compartment, but the overall distribution of drugs will decrease as the protein binding of drugs increases. Um, altered protein binding occurs in various medical conditions, uh, especially in pregnancies. You talk of last trimester, plasma protein binding is altered. Therefore, you need to be careful when you uh, prescribe any high protein binding drugs like anticonversions like phenytoin to pregnant ladies uh, because um, it might pose a problem, uh, especially with the plasma protein binding uh, being not the same as that of the normal individuals. In other medical conditions like kidney disease, heart disease, wherein proteins are directly or indirectly affected, levels of them, uh, then the plasma protein binding is altered. Uh, in certain other conditions like PEM, that is protein energy malnutrition or any other protein deficiency state, so starvation, old age and so on, plasma protein binding decreases. Therefore, uh, normal therapeutic doses of drug also may prove to be more toxic, uh, especially with high protein binding of um, agents. Uh, if given to these individuals there's one more thing about plasma protein binding displacement reaction okay so high protein binding agents displaces uh, drugs with uh, low protein binding if they have common sites of attachment onto the same drug especially if the two drugs are acidic if the two drugs are basic uh, then we get the same this kind of displacement reaction because their attachment sites are the same uh, the examples of that would be phenytoin displacing warfarin and so then it poses a problem because more free warfarin means more chances of side effects like hemorrhage and so on. So it's not good for the patient. So need to be careful with these um, high protein bounding agents um, that we just talked of. Now that was my short analysis on protein binding of drugs. I hope you like this session. I completed before three minutes. Uh, so I should congratulate uh, on my task. Uh, thank you. Bye, do subscribe to my channel.